Good evening. We begin with accusations of racism on the ice. The mother of a minor hockey player is speaking out after her son alleges he was called a racist slur during a minor hockey game in New Hamburg. She says instead of support, her son was handed a suspension for standing up for himself. CTV's Tyler Kelleher is following this story and joins us live with more on this tonight. Tyler, this happened back on March 7th. Alex, the alleged victim is J.J. Jacobs, a player for the New Hamburg Junior Firebirds U18 team. Not only does Jacob say a player directed a racial slur toward him in the middle of a game, but after responding to the hateful act, OMHA handed him a lengthy suspension. It was pretty heartbreaking. It was a verbal attack Patty Jacobs hoped would never be thrown at her own child. A racist slur her 16-year-old son, JJ, claims an opposing player made against him during a minor hockey game in New Hamburg early last month. JJ told us um, that the player called him um, said, good job, little black boy, and then the N-word. New Hamburg Firebird said coach Zach Mark witnessed the on-ice altercation from the bench. JJ countered with a profanity-laced response to the player, accusing him of being racist. I can tell you that this isn't the first time that this has happened to him, but I was really happy that he actually spoke up and said something this time. What followed was a swift response from the Ontario Minor Hockey Association. Hey, they just suspended JJ for seven games. I was like, for for what? Jacobs filed an appeal to have the suspension reduced. In a statement to CTV News, the OMHA said in part, the player who made a discriminatory slur has been handed a seven-game suspension. The other player who responded received a three-game suspension that was reduced from an original ruling of seven games. So you're holding racism to the same standpoint as calling a guy racist. The decision drawing backlash. Every situation is unique and different. And I think they looked at this from a very blanketed perspective. JJ returned to hockey this season after a heart condition kept him out of competitive sports for three years. The suspension forcing him to miss the OMHA championships and ending his minor hockey career. The greater concern, the acts of hate still being felt in minor hockey and what's being done about it. It should be a game that's inclusive for all and it should be a game that should be able to be played by all and this just does not support that whatsoever. Now JJ did not wish to speak on camera today. His mother did relay to me that he is most concerned for the kids coming up through the minor hockey system. He believes the top priority should be to make sure each player feels protected and able to speak up if they see or face acts of discrimination themselves. Alex. Okay, CTV's Tyler Callagher joining us live with the story tonight. Thank you for that, Tyler.